All right, so this is the other map that they just released called Eden, which, uh, as I said in my previous video, just seems to be a variation of Empire. Um, there is a new rifle on this map. Uh, I believe it's called the Laser Rifle. I pick it up at the beginning. Yeah, it's right there. Um, I believe it was called the Laser Rifle. And it's not bad. Uh, decent damage, but the uh, fire rate is pretty, pretty low and um so it's not necessarily even something you want to get in a close quarters uh you know encounter with probably not because i tried it. It, it it's i would say it's slightly better than dmr i actually don't know the uh the damage statistics of exactly how they have have adjusted it on halo 5 which probably won't be the finalization of how it works um you know in the final game they'll probably tweak the damage and things like that uh, but you know, as far as the DMR goes and even like this new rifle, I honestly couldn't tell which one is stronger. Honestly, I don't even like the DM DMR in most situations. It seems, it, it can seem pretty weak sometimes. Battle, I would always choose the battle rifle over it. Of course, the only thing is the DMR just gives you some more range on its scope. And I think I, sometimes I feel like the, uh, DMR's, uh, the fire rate is higher sometimes, but I know the battle rifle damage definitely higher. Um, so I'll probably end up looking at looking up some statistics and uh, looking up some crunch numbers um, if people already have it already. But there's like a really dedicated community, so I wouldn't be surprised if people are, have already started analyzing that stuff and that information isn't already out there. So like I said, this map is pretty similar to Empire. The only distinguishing feature is it has a catwalk um, that I'm crossing uh, crossing right now. Now one thing I've learned about that I've had to, I guess, push myself to do sometimes is in this game is run away. Sometimes you just gotta run away. You, you got no choice. You gotta run away and hope to survive and turn it around and avoid a death. Because you in most situations if you're gonna encounter a team you know a collective team of three that they're all going after you you're probably not gonna win that battle you're gonna throw as many grenades as you want you're probably not gonna win it two two is manageable right two guys shooting at you is manageable depending on the circumstances you know you can maneuver your maneuver your way around that and get the uh you know the two kills three probably not right because i've encountered those obviously those situations where where for the whole game right my t well my team sucks right not in this game they weren't so bad actually you're gonna see the most amazing thing you've ever seen in gaming at the end of this match by the way so stick around why watch, watch the end of this game i guarantee you most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life right but often yeah you 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 get in those positions where you're just outnumbered and their whole team is coming after you and it sucks because your team is not not nowhere around and they're not anywhere around because they keep dying because they suck and uh you you just find yourself alone all the time right just encountering though i almost lost this situation um then i dropped that the energy sword with like nothing in it i almost died because of that dude um, but yeah, in situations where my team is just sucks and they have no idea what they're doing, it's like you can't win. You actually, this is one of the games where you actually do need a decent team, right? Carrying, you could do a lot of carrying in this game. It's it's still hard to win if you got a if you got a bad team, right? A lot other games, your team is complete trash. You could work you could work work your way around it, get a tight win this game probably not it's just you're gonna lose you're gonna lose which happens in this game that i did pretty decent i don't remember what my final score was but you there's no way i could i could have overcame the odds of what my teammates did to stab uh you know just to stab ourselves in the foot right there was no way to get around it so best thing you could do sometimes is just get as many kills as possible you at a certain point you just accept the loss like listen this team sucks 
I'm not. We're in, we're not gonna get this win. Only thing I could do, get some kills. It is what it is. One thing I kind of hope they have, which I don't think they're gonna have, uh, is a no party playlist when the actual game comes out, to where you can just you know jump in a playlist where nobody's partied up. It's just a whole bunch of randoms. Because as much as I complain about randoms, I do like to just you know, play that way. I don't like to be partied up all the time. It's fun sometimes, but sometimes I actually sometimes I actually like the challenge of overcoming a situation like that. Um so in playing with a team, if if it's too easy sometimes, then it becomes boring. So that's why I do put myself myself in that situation sometimes. And this game can definitely be frustrating sometimes. You know, it could definitely be frustrating. It could seem like everything is just going against you. Everything that is happening is just mounting against you sometimes. It doesn't even make any sense. It's amazing how it's four versus four, but it could seem like eight versus one sometimes. You could, you could feel, and it has that might have something to do with the, uh, that nigga should have died. That nigga should have died. It, it might have something to do with the spawn time because you do spawn pretty fast because you could feel like you're getting there's like I said there's four four versus four you could feel like you're getting shot by like eight different guys from eight different places and it's like yo what the hell I am getting shot from like eight different angles right now it could feel like that sometimes and headshots are the main thing that matter in Halo that's, that's the main things that, that matter in this game like body shots you could shoot somebody in, in the body, you know, a thousand times. There, it's gonna take a lot of shots for them to go down. So the most important things you have to land are obviously headshots. Um, and you could feel like you're just landing a lot of shots, a lot of headshots sometimes, and or a lot of relevant shots, upper body shots, and dudes just just don't drop. It happened at the end. Upon replaying it, you know, I did realize, and it was with the laser rifle. Um, I think it was. Um, or the light rifle. I don't remember the name of the damn thing. Um, I'll I'll remember when I uh, when the part comes. But you just feel like wow. I just laced that guy. Just hit this dude with so many shots, and the man does not fall. There's a lot of situations like that where you just feel like you light somebody up, and you know it's just one of those games. It, it's strange because some it'll make you question the hit detection sometimes. Because, yeah, it is one of those games where it can take a lot of shots to, to kill somebody, but then it doesn't if you land, like, all the right hits, like, all the headshots. Like, that right there, I felt like that should have killed him. I, I felt like that should have killed him. You know what I'm saying? Like, cut me a break. Right? I would still be fine if the final build of the game um, stayed the same as far as the damage and the health goes. I would be fine with that. But I wouldn't mind if some guns did get a buff a slight buff a little small buff like the dmr i think you can use a little small damage buff just a little bit not much you know um honestly i think that's it because the the magnum is is i, I think it's a little ridiculous that the magnum is stronger than the uh you know the dmr in some situations i mean it's a rifle versus a pistol even though it's a magnum i feel like dmr could use a slight damage buff this is the part i felt like I, I hit this guy like a thousand times but i think like the guy at the end actually switched with him and that the other guy i was hitting backed out so that just drove me crazy i'm like this this guy really didn't die this guy must have like saying saying blood coursing through his veins or this dude is like half kryptonian or something but uh yeah we lost this match oh the most amazing thing you've ever, you've ever seen in gaming check this out check this out i couldn't believe my eyes when i seen it you're going to be amazed. Wait for it. Wait for it. it actually, it's, it's not me bragging this time that, that you that you think it is. Let's 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 go down below me. This man went 2 and 21. I could not believe my eyes. I, I hope I hope that guy was AFK. I hope he was away from well, AFC, I guess. I hope he was away from his controller. Because if he was actually playing the game, and I think he was playing the game. If he was playing the game the whole time and went 2 and 21... Lord Jesus, help him. We have to pray for these noobs. Let's bow our heads.